So now HR is in control of workforce communications. They can design, distribute, and measure the results of workforce communications. Let me show you how you create a campaign around a communication that you want to deliver to the enterprise. So I'm going to come into HCM Communicate. And the first thing that you'll notice is all of the different campaigns that I have going on. And in Workplace Wellness, I come in and it's a whole campaign where the first area is all of the metrics that I need to know. We know we've sent out 12,400 communications. We've received 92% or so back. We also have a click rate response, so we can see that and measure how effective the communication is being. We also can target the audience. So this is really the secret sauce of why HR having a communication solution as part of the HCM system is so important. Because today, if you're using a third party marketing tool, you're spending all this time trying to collect the right email list of the right populations and it's always changing. But now, because we're part of the HR system, we have all of the workforce data at our fingertips. So we can send it to a group based on job code, or we could send it to a particular country, or we could send it to a group of buildings, or a state, or a union group that we want to talk to them about change in their benefit plans. So now we have the ability to target the right populations and send them appropriate communications that are relevant to them. And then you could create the emails here in the system, you could design and distribute them. And let me show you what designing them looks like. Here you can design beautiful looking communications um, with your style sheet that uh, aligns with your company brand. So now with HCM Communicate, HR has the power to design, distribute, and measure the success of their workforce communications. The next innovation as part of Oracle Me is Oracle Journeys with contextual guidance. Employees want a simple way to be guided to critical actions that they need to take day to day. And employers want to provide this step-by-step -step workflow guidance where employees and managers can complete critical tasks related to their life, their career, and their work. Now, with Oracle Journeys, with contextual actions, we can deliver step-by-step -step workflow guidance across the enterprise for personal and professional experiences. Let's take a look at Oracle Journeys with contextual guidance in action. So let me go in and select all of the journeys that have been assigned to me or I assigned to myself. These again are step-by-step -step guided workflows to simplify personal and professional experiences across the enterprise. But with contextual guidance, we've now taken Oracle journeys and put them into the flow of work. So let me show you what that means. If you remember, as part of HCM Communicate, we pushed out a workplace wellness campaign and one of the social wellness activities was a volunteering option. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna volunteer and I'm gonna take a day off to go to one of the charities that we're supporting. So traditionally I would go in to add an absence, so I'm gonna go in to add an absence, but now instead of going to a transaction page, I'm brought to an immersive experience that's gonna walk me through how to create a a volunteering activity, take the time off, and post to a social um, network internally um, what, what, what happened so I can promote what I've done and what my team has done. So I'm gonna drill in, and again, a step-by-step -step guided process. I'm gonna start this journey. I can see we've put in interactive videos to make the experience emergent, immersive. This will walk me through what it means to volunteer. I'm gonna watch that video. We also have 
the do's and don'ts with an embedded FAQ so I can get more information about volunteering and what it means and how to do it, how many hours I can take off. And then the next step is actually going in to the transaction. So I'm going to go in to add absence and you can see here we have contextual guidance as part of the flow of work directly in the absence area where I can see different absent types or things to consider so we can embed videos, we can embed BI reports, we can embed all different sorts of content that's personalized to me and this page that I'm on right here. So I can watch this video, understand what I need to do, and then go in and select time off. So I'm going to take the 30th off and I will have 32 hours of volunteering time left. So very easily I was step through taking time off, but I'm not done with the experience. So I've requested time off, but this journey will continue when I complete the volunteering day, take a bunch of pictures, I can post this to our Slack channel internally to make sure everyone knows that we all came together, volunteered, gave back to the community and promoted internally. So this step-by-step -step journey in the flow of work is one example of how we've taken journeys with contextual guidance and built it into our system. The next area, I talked about the digital assistant. The digital assistant allows you to interact with our system across different channels. So here I'm going to start a transaction, a manager action, where I'm going to promote somebody on my team. But what's great about using the digital assistant is I can use it in our application, I can use it in Slack, I can use it in Teams, I can use it in SMS. I don't have to be connected to the HR system in order for me to complete transactions. So truly in the flow of my day-to-day -day work, I can interact with the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna promote Jen Jacobs. And I've, I'm brought to an experience around the promotion. It's not a transaction page. It walks me through the, the different steps that I need to do um, in order for me to promote Jen appropriately. It walks me through what I need to understand about pay equity and how our organization thinks about pay. It has some real-time BI or analytic reports that are available. It has the do's and don'ts with a template that I need to download and fill out and attach to the actual transaction. Again, so I don't have to go to a different site, find that template, bring it back and associate it to the transaction. Make sure I talk to my manager, which is always key. And then I can start the actual promotion transaction. And you can see, once I get into the promotion transaction, I start the process and immediately the system tells me, hey, you can only promote on the 1st and the 16th of the month, so we have some rules around promotion. If I'm confused, I could always go to the contextual guidance in the system to understand why dates matter, why it's important. I don't have to call the help desk and log a ticket. I can see exactly why dates matter. I can change the start date of the promotion to the 1st. I can continue on. So that's HCM journeys with contextual guidance. Now let's see the last innovation that we're delivering as part of Oracle Me. The best way to ensure an aligned workforce that always feels connected and heard is to strengthen the relationships between employees and their managers. Now with Oracle Touchpoints, we can enable continuous engagement between employees and their managers, really giving every employee a voice and every manager the tools to act. HCM Touchpoints is an active employee listening and engagement solution. It is designed to help capture, track, and take action all around employee sentiment. And it's really designed to strengthen the relationships that managers have with their employees. Let's take a look at HCM Touchpoints in action. So I come in, I go into touch points, but as I'm going in, I get a pulse survey. This pulse survey could be one or multiple questions, just asking me how I'm feeling, and I can answer the question, today I'm feeling great. Now I come to my touch points dashboard, and here I have all the interactions that I've had 
with my manager. So all the check-ins that I've had, all the feedback that's been given to me, all the celebrations that I've had throughout time, and I can see my level of personal sentiment that I've had over this six or seven month period that is represented here. I also get recommendations as to what I could do next. So the system is helping to ensure that my voice is always heard. Now, where HCM Touchpoints really gets interesting is when I put my manager hat on and I get to see how engaged my team is. So here I come in and I come into Team Touchpoints. And here I can see, see a composite score of how my team sentiment has been over this last six, seven month period. And I can see we had a dip in the February timeframe. And I know what that was. We had acquired another company that had some overlap with our department. So I was able to hear that from my team and take some action, talk to them about how our jobs wouldn't change and quickly sentiment came back up to where we want it to be above four. But then I could drill down and see employee by employee and how engaged they are day to day, week to week. So let's take a look at Paul Williams. And what's nice is it reminds me in the recommendation area of additional engagement suggestions that I could take to keep that active engagement going with Paul. So he knows I'm worried about his career, I'm worried about his growth, we're checking in, he's being heard. All of those things that we wanna foster as part of continuous engagement, we can do and have help from the system to make it easier for us. So with Oracle Touchpoints, you can now not only capture employee sentiment, but you can take action and proactively move the organization forward and stay continually engaged. Now that you've seen Oracle Me in action, I hope you're as excited about it as we are.